With all of these animals to take care of, Bleak Holt needs a well-run reception to control this animal farm. Good morning, you're through to Bleak Holt. Yes. Good morning. Yes, how can we help you? Right, what type of dog is it? And why do you have to have him rehomed? Recently we've had a Kia. Uh, she's, I think she's about 10 year old Staffy. Uh, Kia was perfect. And I think her story was that she had a good home. She was well trained, she would walk on the lead. Everything about her was perfect. Um, and the owner passed away. Oh dear. Yes, okay. Yes, that's fine. Well, don't get upset. What we'll do is we'll um, ask you to bring him in for an assessment. We assess all our dogs before they come into us so we can rehome them. And um, once we've done that, I'm sure Michael will fix up a, a date or a time for you to bring your dog in. Is that okay? That's great. All right then. Well, ring me back and I'll make you an appointment. Thank you. Bye-bye. So after a lovely life of 10 years, suddenly, you know, you get a dog that has to come in here and um, be with us. And recently we've had Ellie, who's been through the mill. She's had some terrible uh, operations and dramas with the uh, vet. And um, finally, she's got another home as well. What, do you want him rehomed? Right. What type of dog is Jackson? And how old is he? And why do you need to rehome him? Um, the worst thing is the telephone, <clears throat> because you can't see the people. You don't know what condition the dog's in. And the thing that worries us most at uh, reception is what happens um, <clears throat> if you say no, or they hang up on you for something terrible. Uh, what are they going to do with the dog? Sally, phone call about Jackson, the Jack Russell. Could you come to reception, please? She's just coming down from the kennel. She won't be long. OK. We do get um, a lot of tears, a lot of emotion when they've got to bring their animals in. Uh, grown men cry, you know, which is understandable. So are we up to date on ISIS? <laughs> yeah. Um, Bella's been moved out. Jen's been moved out. Jasper. I believe there's about 35 paid staff um, and the rest are volunteers. We do have a lot of volunteers. But no matter how much the staff of Bleak Holt enjoy the animal's stay, the main aim is for the stay to be temporary. Morning, Sandra. How are you? Hi, Georgina. Thank you. Thanks. Who are you going to take today? Oh, I'll see who they need me to take. Okay. Who needs to there are a varied amount of, of things that happen. Usually we have a lot of good people in here who are walking dogs and happy to see them, tell you stories non-stop about their own animals. Um, and then we have the bleaker side, obviously. Well, she well, should dress for it. How many are you going to take today? Oh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what, what we need. It. Okay, thank All you right. very much. Thank Thanks, you. Georgina. Okay. The staff, they are here purely for the animals. So we can be a little bit discordant sometimes, uh, but all they have, uh, their interest is in the animals, and it's very nice to see and, and be part of that. Hiya, cheeky boy. They do all sorts with them, you know. I mean, I think you'd be surprised that, well, I was surprised. I'd never done this sort of work before with animals. And I'm amazed the involvement, the medication, their knowledge on their health. It's quite surprising what they do. No matter how many different animals are cared for at Bleak Holt, all staff share their passion for animals.